Today I'm recording on the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens mod. I don't think I have any of the settings dialed in so it's all just straight off the camera. So we're going to go on a little adventure down to the River Tyne. It's a nice day and it hasn't been a nice day in a long while so it's nice to get out, get some sun on the face and yeah. So that's what we're doing. Let's go and have a look at these big cranes. The last remaining two big cranes on the River Tyne from its industrial past. The River Tyne was once lined with cranes like that, building the biggest ships and the fastest ships in the world, and some of the biggest military ships in the world as well. And this is all that remains really, which is uh, pretty sad, but these cranes still are operational and do quite a lot of work. I believe they do uh, cable, uh, undersea cables in oil rig stuff and load ships that come in for the oil rigs a uh, couple of times a month. But yeah, big operation that goes on. So we're just walking down this big road past the cable factories and then onto the River Tyne. <clears throat> Haven't done a video like this where I just walk and talk in a while. Um, I still have lots of plans video wise but it's been quite slow on the uptake because I've got a lot of real life, as I call it, work to do. Um, and that's been quite busy and stressful over the past couple of months. So uh, all my focus has kind of been on that. And then the video stuff comes second, but obviously with the big lockdown, we can't really get out and make videos and do anything awesome. So. Uh, hopefully with the weather easing up, lockdown coming to an end soon, there's going to be a lot more content and I really want to get along the River Tyne uh, to the bridges so I can do the History of the North River Tyne series bridges episode and get that up and out there. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. It's, uh, it's quite peaceful. The birds are out. Let's see what we can see.
This looks a bit different. I'm sure there's an outlet down here. chassis down there as well Like there was an old motorbike chassis down in the river. I thought it looked like some uh, railway wheels, but it wasn't. Uh, I'm getting spiked. I'm gonna have to climb back over the fence. Uh, there's a lot of shale like stones on the side of the river. Usually it's just mud, so I don't know where that came from. You can see it's like it's like a stony beach. Which is interesting. But uh, yeah, let's get back over this fence. <laughs> there we go. Dirty hands now. <laughs> I like doing a bit of an adventure. <sighs> Off the beaten track. You can't really do that on the River Tyne though, because there's no real 
places to explore until you get much further up the river but this is why you don't want to walk on that shore this shore is contaminated with chemicals from the former St Anthony's tar works for health and safety reasons please keep off the shore area da -da -da -da. you get the drift so yes this whole area used to be a big tar works Obviously, at one point in time, polluting the river back in the Industrial Revolution, but that is all gone now. There is some remnants of it left just from the shape of the shoreline. I think there's a big pillar down there. Don't know what that is, but here we go. I'll overlay a quick picture of this on the screen, so if you want to read about the tar works, you can do. And then we'll continue on. So the tar works was opened in the 1890s on the site of John Cook's chemical works. And the tar works was open and operational for about 90 years. Um, and during that period it was taken over by the Thomas Ness tar works. And then in the 1980s it was closed down. So if you have a look at this image here, this is where we are currently standing on the site of the chemical works, which is uh, kind of has a little railway looped around it. So we're going to head up the hill and look into the internal parts of the tar works. There's a lot of crows about. Crows always seem to be following me. So I have no idea what this thing is. Maybe part of the old tar works. Cockney. Rubble. Rubble. Cockney rubble. Is that right? The hell is that? Say? I like guess some kind of uh, drain of some sort. But who knows? I don't know exactly how big this uh, tall works was, but we'll have a look on the map. Might have been around here, might have been a bit further down. I don't know. It looks like there was some kind of off ramp here at one point, which probably loaded the boats. Who knows? Because I certainly don't. There it is. The river goes on down there. But this track goes up there, and I always wonder where it goes. So let's go. Uh, let's go take a peek, shall we? I feel like it's always good to know where things go, in case you ever get into trouble. So, want a bit of an adventure? Because I literally. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> if anyone wonders as well, I'm recording directly from the GoPro audio, I'm not using any mods or media modules or microphones or anything like that. Fuck now, that killed us. Okay, so this was probably part of the tar works as well. So we've got a wall that goes all the way along here, up to the end. Yeah, we've got some big concrete slabs down over here. And this looks like a pretty big area, which I'm assuming was once a factory. I 
at the top of this ridge going all the way along was a old railway line now turned into a bike path which goes into Newcastle and beyond so this would have been perfect for this factory there's some bit of a square building over here so we'll go have a look If you hear my heavy breathing on camera, I do apologise because I'm very unfit at the moment due to all this locked, uh, lockdown malarkey. So some more concrete slab in the ground. Funny enough, it actually looks like the shape of a platform. Although I know there was no platforms around here. Or trains anyways. But we'll have a look at the old map and see what it's all about. Come across. Interesting. Definitely don't want people getting in here and parking up on this land. What are these though? It's like miniature muck hay bales. How weird. If you need any soil, you know where to come and get it. Looks like it's out of plant pots. Guy's got music playing. So I've just walked up from where that mud was up onto the old railway path. Uh, obviously there used to be a railway here so you can see it's quite flat and straight. But this uh, leads all the way on to Newcastle and then beyond up into the Northumberland and God knows where else. And just a bit further down here, we'll come up to one of the little railway bridges. This railway bridge was quite wide as you can see and I think the reason for that is there was multiple tracks going across it obviously not now he sounded out of breath pedalling along Quite a big bridge this one and you can see that road there goes down to the river Tyne and there's a big factory on the other side of the Tyne which is the big paint factory I believe this is where my adventure ends for the day and I'm gonna walk back home but keep going down that path there and you get the Newcastle city centre. Well, Newcastle Quayside. 
with the beautiful Tyne Bridge and all the rest of them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little walkabout today and please like and subscribe, it means the world to us and it helps us out greatly and I hope just to get some nice content for you all in the future hopefully with the additional drone footage in the future as well hint hint um, so yeah I'll see you in the next one bye for now